What's up YouTubers? How you guys doing? Whispering Wind 7 here back again with another statue review. Um, this time I'm gonna reviewing Tomb Raider Lara Croft statue. This is the exclusive version done by Gaming Heads. Um, and you're looking at the color box right now. As you can see, the statue pictured there really nice and that's the front one this is the left side looks like you can see the full statue picture there printed on the box and this is the right side looks like some of the parts pictured there and this is the Rear side looks like okay. Um, you can see some description about the statue or the history of Lara Croft, and my number is 174. Okay, I'm gonna open the box and show you all the parts. I'm gonna start with the base as usual. Here it is. Um, basically, it's a rocky base. Um, I like the way they sculpted and painted it really nice really cool and as you can see there's a rope laying on the ground and there are two broken woods there um, I think it's from the record strip and this is the bottom of the base looks like Tomb Raider Lara Croft exclusive edition 500 units Number is 174 Square Enix Crystal Dynamics. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna show you some other parts. Um, this is the climbing hook, as you can see. Uh, there's a pouch there and pack attached. Um, nice job on this one. And I'm gonna show you the regular one. Uh, this is the one guys, regular edition, hand holding the bow, really love the way they sculpted this bow around here, really tiny but they managed to did it really nicely and around here as well, here and here and here, really cool and the exclusive part is hand holding the shotgun, here you go really cool job they did on this one no complaint from me okay and of course the Lara Croft statue itself now I'm gonna assemble it so you guys can see the fully statue looks like Okay guys, this is the statue looks like. This is one fourth scale Lara Croft survival based on the recent game. Um, she's standing about 18 inches tall from the base to the top. And this is the regular looks like that comes with hand holding the bow as you can see. Um, no mixed media on this one. Um, all sculpted and painted. Um, from my opinion, Gaming Heads did a really nice job. Um, I love it personally. Um, I would give this 8.5 to 9 overall. Um, 8.5 for the paint job, 9 for the scalp. Um, really nice guys. Um, I love the way they did for the pants here. You can see all the creases here and here and the shoelaces here here on the boots they did it really nicely um, the way they sculpt the pocket there um, here also and the straps here and there and comes with the gun there attached um, you cannot take off the gun because it's stick there sculpted really nice um, and this is the rear side looks like guys you see the pockets there, sculpted, straps here, and the climbing hook here. Um, you just 
can attach it to one of the straps here um, it's movable though and removable so it's easily for you if you want to take it off um, the skull for this piece is really nice I love it um, the paint job as well but um, I will show you something that I don't really like um, for the paint job overall the paint job from here to here was awesome really nice I would give like 9 out of 10 um, um, the one thing I don't really like here around her face and I will show you that one moment okay um, I told you before that the paint job from the toe to the shoulders um, was perfect uh, I would give like 9 out of 10 um, I really love the way they did the battle damage so, uh, paint job here uh, around the arms um, the shirt that she's wearing as you can see uh, there are some blood stained here I love it they did a really nice job for that um, here also and some blood around here and some dirt um, as well all over the um, cloth um, as well here blood stain really nice guys and some dirt also around here and both shoulders and I will show you the rear here you go really nice guys even the uh, way they did for the hair I love it um, really good sculpted and painted but uh, one thing I want to tell you that um, the battle damage paint job around her face it seems a bit off from my opinion especially when they did this um, I have um, seen the sample on their um, website I mean the pictures um, it wasn't like this the way they did the paint job um, I don't really like the paint job on her face when they did the battle damage with lines like this I know uh, some um, dirt or um, when, whatever you want to call it um, it looks like this but um, basically it's not like that though um, it's like uh, well it's a mass product uh, so you wouldn't get the um, statue as perfect as the sample or the artist proof one um, but at least um, they should paint this a bit more better because um, I'm not a fan of these lines they painted for the battle damage um, overall was a good paint job though um, I'm not a big complainer here but uh, they should do it better um, that's from my opinion um, but again uh, overall, I like the statue. Um, this is my fourth Tomb Raider Lara Croft statue that I have. Um, for one fourth scale. Um, I don't even know if other one fourth scale statues out there that exist. Um, um, I think this is the first Gaming Heads Lara Croft statue they did. And Saichi already did three, all of them. So. Um, I have four of them so okay now I'm gonna show you the um, exclusive looks like for the statue here it is this is the exclusive version looks like that comes with hand holding the shotgun I have showed you the close look for the shotgun before so this is the statue looks like guys um, personally I like the exclusive better um, um, that's my opinion um, 
she's standing better with the shotgun um, I like it and overall it's still a really nice statue um, especially if you like Tomb Raider, Lara Croft um, um, I recommend you to have this um, this is the first Lara Croft battle damage statue out there for one fourth scale um, the rest were like um, a clean beautiful Lara Croft statue in action um, but not this um, she looks like really mess and <laughs> not that really pretty if you look at her because um, um, she has this um, blood dirt all over her body so you won't see the uh, beautiful Lara from this um, but I like it though and okay um, now I will show you uh, how I display her um, especially if you have exclusive and I will give you 360 for it okay guys this is the way I display the statue um, as you know I'm having the exclusive here and for you collectors out there that having this statue and um, have this exclusive version I recommend you to display the statue like this use both version of the parts um, the exclusive and the regular um, because well you have both of them um, don't put one of the parts in the box you will waste it um, it's the statue looks better this way from my opinion and you have both worlds um, the regular and the exclusive why don't you display both of them um, because um, from my opinion it better like this um, as you can see here um, and I know um, um, the regular has this hand as you can see attached on the bow um, but you will not display her like this or like this no way but you will display her like this right or even better like this so if you have the exclusive attach all the parts that comes with it the regular and the exclusive um, if you only have the regular well uh, you only have the bow so you have to stick with it okay um that's my review for this piece um like i said it to you before overall i would give this 8.5 to 9 it's not a perfect sense statue but i really glad i have it because um personally i love Lara Croft guys um even though i haven't played the games recently but um it's my childhood um female character hero so um this is Lara Croft okay um now i'm gonna give you 360 